Hello YouTube, my name is Josh and I want to welcome you to our channel. Today we're going to be taking a deep dive into Rainway. Rainway is a streaming app that's made just for gaming. You can use it to stream your gaming PC to something lower powered like your laptop. Or you can install it on a cloud server and stream that to your computer at home. Now one cool thing about Rainway is that it streams everything to your browser. You don't need any special software on the computer that you're streaming to. So you could use this with a school computer, you could use it with a work computer, or even something like a Chromebook. Rainway officially started with an open beta back in January of 2018, so they had a whole year to develop, and then they officially released their 1.0 version this year in January of 2019, so that's what we're checking out today. We're going to show you what it's like to use Rainway on your local network, and we're also going to show you what it's like to stream Rainway through the cloud. And if you're already familiar with Rainway, take a look at the videos, look for any improvements. If you notice any, let us know what you think in the comments. So let's jump right in. We're going to start with what it's like to stream from a gaming PC on your local network to another computer on your local network.
So now you know what it's like to use Rainway on your home gaming PC and from the cloud. And now that you've seen it in action, let's go over some details. As we mentioned earlier, Rainway was in beta for almost a full year. They left beta on January 31st, 2019, and they launched their full 1.0 version. And right out of the gate, they ran into some trouble. They had planned to launch with support for adaptive bit rates, which is really cool. It means that the stream can kind of adjust itself a little bit as conditions on your network change. Unfortunately, they realized shortly after launching that the adaptive bit rate technology didn't work as expected. After a few days of tinkering and troubleshooting, they realized that there was an issue in Windows itself that was causing the bitrate to fail and not to work as expected. They ended up rolling the adaptive technology back, and today they're using the consistent bitrate technology that they've used over the last year. So in those videos that you just watched, Rainway is using their original consistent bitrate technology. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. When you have a consistent bitrate, things can be really good, like you saw in the videos. The only downside is that if conditions in your network do change while you're playing, the stream really can't make any adjustments on the fly. So that's kind of the state of things with Rainway right now. It is good, and it's especially good if you have a really solid consistent network. However, if your network conditions are not stable, or if they do change a little bit as you're playing, you're going to notice it. Now with all of that said, Rainway is not giving up on their adaptive technology. They're continuing to develop it, and they hope to have that implemented sometime soon. On top of that, Rainway does plan to support other devices. They're working on an app for Xbox and an app for Android that should allow you to stream to those devices as well. So all in all, their launch was a little bit rough, but most of that is behind them now, and there are good things coming. So make sure that you're subscribed to Flickstick. We'll let you guys know as soon as that adaptive technology is ready to go, and we'll also keep you up to date on things like the Xbox app. And that's going to be it for today's video. Until next time, my name is Josh, and you guys have a good one.